Welcome back to the Homesteading for Beginners podcast. This is Mona Weathers, your host. We are continuing on with the Homestead Income series. Um, We have a few more episodes um, to talk about the Homestead Income subject, and then we'll go back to the regular topics, which are various topics on starting your homestead journey. So in this episode, I'm sharing a portion of the webinar that I did a few days ago. I did a live webinar. I share a portion of the webinar where I go over two of the three problems I saw and the solution I came up for those problems. The problems I saw in the homesteading community as far as income goes, as far as you know, setting yourself up correctly with uh, an income source, and then solutions to those problems. So there's this is the two of the three. If you want to hear more Um, the whole thing, the third one and more about the Paid Homesteader Academy. Follow the link in the show notes. Problem number one was I saw homesteaders and dreamers and homestead dreamers know, be aware, I should have said, they need to increase their income, but they just don't know how to get started. So my question to you is if, if you are in that space, are you like, or these are some options. Are you, did you not know how to get started at all? Are you just like, so totally unfamiliar or have you tried something, but didn't really make any money or have you had a good thing going at one point and then you totally burnt out. So if you can answer that in the, in the comments, that would be awesome. But I just want to know, you know, what you're thinking, but this is, was a problem I saw, you know, the problem basically is they didn't know how to get started or they've gotten started and nothing really happened with it, or they had a good thing going, but it just burnt them out because they didn't have any systems or automations or anything to make their job easier because they didn't have the skills maybe. Okay. So if you can answer that and like, which one are you? Are you, you don't know how to get, you don't know how to get started. You have tried, but nothing made money. You had a good thing going, but you got burnt out. Okay, so the solution I came up with was teach homesteaders and homestead dreamers how to increase their income by showing them how to set up their three homestead income streams. I shared which I shared. That was my solution, and the the this is this is one of the solutions of the three that I'm going to share. I want to show people how to have a uh, sustainable, uh, prepared business model. Okay, <laughs> not just business, not just uh, money. I want it to be sustainable so that, you know, you plan for, va- you're able to plant, have vacations, have enough money, wiggle room and stuff to, to have vacations and have good amount of money coming in, you know, not just a little bit trickle in here, you know, and there. There is so that there are so many ways to make money. The question is, how do you make money where it's, it fits with your lifestyle and it, it, lights you up because that was one of the things that we talked about in the beginning with idea generation process like it has to light you up like when i keep thinking about my ideal customer avatar which is you watching i think about like you know when things get rough and it gets hard i'm like am i still happy about serving these people am i still happy about the product that i'm trying to present to them because when things get rough, it's going to be hard to like keep going on. Like what I mean by when things get rough, when, you know, because being an entrepreneur comes with a lot of, you know, self-doubt and all that kind of stuff. But if you keep thinking about who and what you're, you're, what you're creating, and if it lights you up and who you're creating it for, and if that lights you up, then you keep, you keep going. So what it basically means, don't start a business just to make money because, quickly, that will be like, this is not worth it. Uh, Especially if you're not making very much money at first, you know, you need to start a business that lights you up because it'll keep you going. If you're serving people, if your, your attention, your focus is on service, not money, then the right people will come into your world. Okay. (laughs) This has happened over and over again. So having multiple income streams is smart, but you don't want to be, um, you don't want to spread yourself too thin in too many places. So that's that's another thing. That's another caution you need to have. Um, instead, you build up two multiple income streams in the right order, starting with your own products and services. So this is my business tip for you today, this here. And you can take a screenshot of this um, because this is like this is like a pyramid of how you want to set yourself up for business. 
because there's so many options and because you wanna tap into the multiple income streams you can have um, through online and offline ventures, right? So when you're building income streams, consider doing it in this order. First, you wanna start with products and services you create to sell, you create to sell, okay? Why are we doing that? Because that's where our passion is. That's where the, we know the person that we're serving, right? So it also, you have control over these things, okay? Like you have control over these things. It gets me, okay? I've done a lot of different things like brand deals, sponsorships, affiliates, and all those kinds of things. It gets me that, oh, and also like social media. I've I've been one of the social media creators and things like it was part of the creator fund for Facebook and Instagram. What gets me is that you work so hard and then one of these things or one of these heads of things decides to change something and all that work that you were doing just goes away. But with products and services that you create and design yourself and, and businesses that you design yourself, you have the ability to change and shift however you want to shift. And you don't have to be like going with with whatever company decides to change things, you know? So that's why I say that needs to be your first, that needs to be your foundation. And once you have that, then you can move up to affiliates. You can do some of these things at the same time, but for focus reasons, you wanna kind of just focus on one thing at a time. But then you can add affiliates and brand deals and sponsorship deals and that sort of thing. And then this is another thing I see a lot of people doing is like wanting to start a YouTube channel. And I've been in this, space as well because you see people making money on youtube and it's like yeah i want to start a youtube channel and that's what they focus on getting enough followers to be part of their you know getting monetized and then uh they first they might not make as much as money as they thought <laughs> and it's a lot of work you've got to create a lot of content to get to that point and uh and that's not where the money is the money is in your own products especially your online digital products the money is in your affiliate deals, okay? That's that, you know, you can put affiliate links and stuff that in, 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 in videos, though that's where your money is, okay? Your money isn't in the AdSense, though that's a nice, I mean, could you, you could be making $1,000 a month or something or $500 a month, which is really significant for a lot of people, but it's that's not where the money is. That's just the icing on top. So that's why we have it on top, you know? <laughs> that's why you wanna concentrate on that you know, I mean, that will naturally come if you create content that is serving your people. Eventually, you will get, if you have a YouTube channel, you will get monetized, you know, and social media the same way. You will get followers if you just keep creating content for your ideal customer, okay? So, okay, so that was problem number one. Um, and let's, so let's go to problem number two. Problem number two is that homesteaders wanting to start start a business business, but don't have the skills to market and sell their product. So if you're listening, I would like to know on a scale of one to five, we're not going to go all the way up to 10. <laughs> how good are you at marketing and selling? One being terrible, five being really good. Like how good are you at this? Okay. Uh, because most people aren't very good at it. And they have this, if I build it, they will come kind of mentality about their products which is very dangerous because it's not dangerous, but it's very sad because if you don't market your product, nobody will find it. If you don't sell your product, nobody will buy it. You know, I mean, occasionally you might get some people who are just so motivated and find your product, but the, the majority of sales are going to come from the periods that you are marketing and um, selling. Okay. So it's like this, like you want to be able to shine a flashlight. You have all, you have a room full, you're in a room, a dark room full of products that you have. Okay. Each time you want to sell a product, you have to shine a light on that product for a period of time before people will see it. I mean, it takes like seven to 20 times or something. It's like a huge amount now, amount now for people to see the same thing uh, over and over again for it to register to them that that is something that you offer. So it's, it's like, I think it's like 15 times now, you know, like they have to see it. So this solution is that um, to that the problem of people not knowing how to market and sell. The solution is create a program that guides homesteaders and dreamers through all the steps necessary to build a business. Teach them about quarterly product launching. 
Okay, this is so key. Um, and this is what it this is what it basically looks like. So your business tip for did for this part this um, problem number two is to buy to divide your year into four quarters and concentrate your efforts on launching marketing and selling one to two offers each quarter so you you can have multiple things for sale I mean you can have a shop but you're going to focus on one to two offers per quarter that w that you can shine a light on and uh, you know, sell, market and sell that product instead of just having a bunch of products for people to have to kind of figure out what it is that you have. And with that whole, like takes 15 to 20 times to see your thing or whatever the number is. I don't know. It used to be seven. I think it's like 15 or something now to see your thing, to register that it's something that you offer. Now, if you have a bazillion products, it can take it forever to figure out what you have. But if you have, if you're highlighting one to two products, every quarter like right now this is the end of the third quarter and i am or you know it's almost the end of the third quarter and this is what i'm highlighting i have been working on the a, a paid homesteader academy marketing for a couple of months now i didn't just like one day say i'm gonna post this you know and start talking about it i've been planning it i've mapped it out and this the the challenge that i'm doing is all part of that so that's what makes things so much easier. It makes you have a folk, have be able to focus for a period of time and not get all squirrely brained about you know what what's going on with social media and how to do things. It really makes you focused and able to sell products. Um, anytime I highlight something, if so, in the off times when I'm not doing something big like this, I'll highlight like my workbook or my workshop. Um, I'm still building up my offer suite, which we've talked about in the Cultivating Challenge, and I'll talk a little bit about more about that too next. But um, I'm still building up my offer suite. But anytime I highlight one of the other products, they sell. Usually, when I don't highlight them, they don't sell. But it says it's just. I mean, they, there's other things I can do to make that that happen more, which is funnels. And when they do, when I do get sales. Um, I get sales through email, my email funnel. So anyway, that's another whole nother topic that I want to share with you, but I didn't, I didn't include that in today's topic. And, but that, so that is my, my answer to this problem of people don't know how to market and sell. Well, you market and sell by highlighting. So if you get anything from this, this um, webinar, please take that into consideration, you know? Decide, divide up your year into four quarters, which is for, for quarter number one is January, February, March. Quarter number two is April, May, June. Quarter number three is July, August, September. And quarter number four is October, November, December. Divide your year up into quarter and then plan for whatever product that you want to highlight to sell. It could be affiliates too. A lot of people start with affiliate marketing as well. So if you have an affiliate, just start talking about that for that whole quarter and see what happens, okay? <laughs> Not just a couple weeks, a whole quarter, okay? The homesteading life can be rewarding and amazing, but it also can be overwhelming and expensive if you don't have a plan for keeping costs low and cash flow coming in regularly. You may be one of the many people choosing this lifestyle to leave the rat race, find balance and harmony in your life. Sadly, many people start homesteading and quickly realize how much money it can cost to maintain a homestead. Unfortunately, some homesteaders figure this out too late, go broke, and quit the lifestyle. While many homesteaders don't go into homesteading to make money, the fact is if you want to be able to live the homesteading life to the fullest, you need to make it start working for you. You don't have to have acres and acres of land to do this either. What you need is a cash flow strategy that utilizes on homestead, off homestead, and online income opportunities. A lot of homesteaders are leaving money on the table because they're not tapping into the income streams that can allow for passive, automated income daily, paid. The Paid Homesteader Academy will show you not only how to get set up on a homestead income plan that includes passive and automated strategies, but it will also help you have a year-round cash flow strategy. If you'd like to learn more about the Paid Homesteader Academy, go to paidhomesteader.com.